Hi, I'm Norman Hallett and welcome to 4 Minute Drill for Traders. The name of this segment is Limiting Your Winners and Letting Your Losers Run. Well, there's a sentence that occupies a chapter in just about every trading book ever written. It's been preached by every lecturing market guru since the Aiden sisters danced to the music of the gold market in the 80s. Go ahead and hire a personal trading coach and likely the second thing he or she will tell you after telling you that trading is speculative and only risk capital should be used are the famous words, limit your losses and let your winners run. Okay, we've been told. But you didn't have to even tell us. Look, it makes perfect sense. On a roll, go with the flow ride the wave, and on the other side of the expression, get out while the getting's good. We've heard both sides of these golden words given to us in numerous different phrases. We get it. During my early coaching days, I would revisit students that I had trained weeks or months previously, and lo and behold, I would discover that many of them were actually doing the opposite, letting their losses run and limiting their gains. After a while, I wasn't even surprised. I would go into a refresher visit expecting to see the limit your losses and let your winners run rule repeatedly ignored. I would finally ask students why. And there were many different stories, but one main theme. All the traders, in some way, had gotten out of emotional control. See, during their trainings, I made sure that they did extensive back testing on their systems and I did that because I knew that the more they tested and saw that their systems would have been successful if traded in the past the more they would trust in the system for the future and have the strength to follow its signals especially through rough trading periods apparently simply back testing and seeing what would have been type results wasn't enough to keep these traders in emotional control what I had been missing was that these traders were taking the losing personally. These traders had been seeing losing trades as a reason to let negative thoughts into their heads. A loss would mean that all the articles they read about trading as gambling, all of a sudden maybe they'd be tr they're true all of a sudden. All the family accusations that they were crazy traders, responsible, irresponsible people, well, all of a sudden, losing trades gave these accusations merit. This kind of negative thinking, as well as other forms of trader-related negative thinking, makes it so you don't want to take a loss. If you take a loss, maybe you're that much closer to that irresponsible person that you've been accused of being. So you enter a trade after, say, coming off a losing trade, and it starts to go south. As the market heads for your stop, you start looking around at the news or the or the chart of a system market that's showing strength, searching for an excuse to make it okay to lift your sell stop. Well, you always find it. And when you find it, you pick up the phone, cancel that bean trade, stop, cancel. If the market comes back, you'll be the smart guy or gal who made, it, made the right move and, and turned a loser into a winner when you lifted your stop. But what you really just did, however, is you turned a potential winner, you, into potential loser. You may have had a winning trade, but in the long run, you will lose. You see, it's not about you. It's about the market. If you don't take your emotions out of it, you don't have a shot at winning. You must see yourself as a wise and disciplined trader, not someone who is becoming a trader. There's very little room for mistakes in your trading. Leverage, make sure of that. If you're going to play in the big leagues, you have to do what big leaguers do right from the beginning. Do all of the practicing on the paper trading practice field. Once you put your money up, you either do what your tested trading plan tells you to do or you pick another profession. Remember, losing trades are not a reflection of you as a bad person and winning trades are not a reflection of you as a good person. Winning and losing trades, very simply, are part of executing your proven, tested trading plan. Simple as that. And anyway, I'm confident you're a good person. In fact, I'm confident that you'll do everything you can to be the most successful trader you can be. That's all for today. I'll see you next week for another four-minute drill. And as always, stay disciplined.